Hi guys, my name is Emma and today we're going to do a side lying series focusing on the inner thighs. All you'll need for today's class is your beautiful self and your beautiful mat. Let's get started. Okay, jumping down onto your mat, getting comfortable, bringing your feet up to the top bottom corner of your mat and lying yourself down. You can bend through the elbow and rest your head on your hand or you can extend your arm out nice and long and you can rest your head on your arm. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna press that top hip away and just to make sure that you're not sinking down into the mat. Bring your hand either in front of you or on your hip. On your hip will give you a little bit of an extra balance challenge. So whatever you would like to do. We are going to open up the legs so they're in a turned out position. In this position, guys, I really want you to tuck your tail under, squeeze your glutes together and zip up through the abdominals. It's like when we're standing up in this narrow, narrow Pilates V position or in a first position in ballet, we tuck our pelvis under and draw everything up. So I kind of want you to be in that position when we're down on the ground. Obviously your legs aren't directly underneath you, they're in front, but you get the idea. So when you're ready, legs are nice and long and strong, really drawing up from the knee. We lift the top foot up towards the bottom knee and then extend out long. Good, and then we flex to lower. We point the foot to bring it up towards the knee, extend, flex, and lower back down. Good. Lovely, so your legs are nice and engaged. When we drop the leg down, I really want you to think that you are squishing something in between your inner thighs rather than just dropping it down like that. <laughs> so give yourself some resistance here to really make sure you're switching on those muscles. Good, and that lower leg is nice and engaged as well. So it's not really relaxing down on the mat. Just means that we're working through that lower leg, inner thigh as well. <laughs> Good. One more here. Lovely. When you're ready, we just point to lift, flex to lower. So coming straight up and straight down here. Straight up and straight down. Good. Squeezing everything in together. Good, for three, nice and controlled, two, and last one, good, that's lifted all the way back up, we're just doing little pulses in with the leg. Try not to bounce the leg here, it's a controlled movement, so in and out, in and out, good, for three, two, and one, lovely work. When you're ready, you're gonna bring that top leg over, plant it over the top of the bottom leg. If this position is too uncomfortable for you, you can bring that leg behind you. We're gonna be working through that bottom leg here. So I'll bring it over the top to begin with, and I'm just gonna hold onto my uh, ankle. You don't need to do this if your leg's behind you. When you're ready, flexing through that bottom foot, you lift the leg up and lower down. That inner thigh is coming up towards the ceiling. Your leg is nice and strong here and really control the lower down. So we're not just dropping it down onto the floor. That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> just really control that lower. Good. Now this position can be a little bit uncomfortable for some people. So if you are finding this uncomfortable, you can rock back a little bit on your glute, so on the bottom glute, and that might give you a little bit more cushioning. Good, or you can play around with lifting the leg up a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Just have a play around and see what works for you. Good, lift 
and lower. Working through your lower abdominals here as well, which is an extra bonus, so keep them nice and engaged, good. When you're ready, we hold, we're holding that leg up and we pulse up and up, good. Keep breathing. Good, holding here, we bend and stretch the leg. Bend and stretch. Really strong stretch, so pressing away with that um, heel. Press away, press away, good. Lovely, and when you're ready, holding it out nice and long, we're gonna do little circles here. So I want you to think that you are uh, drawing around a golf ball. Good. Oh, it's certainly burning. Good, and reverse. Keep breathing. Lovely, guys, and when you're ready, just hold it there. Can we get it a little bit higher? Keep breathing, can we get it a little bit higher? You've got this, you've got this, you've got this. Inner thigh is burning. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, drop that leg down. Fantastic. This time, you're bringing your legs in line with your hips. So they're nice and long. Woo, <laughs> try and balance. Press that top hip away so you're not sagging into the mat. We're gonna bring our hand in front of us just to help us with that balance. If you're like amazing at balancing, you can keep your hand on your hip if you would like that extra challenge. All right, when you're ready, our knees are facing towards the front this time. So we're in a parallel position rather than turned out. We are going to lift that top leg up and bring it back down. We lift it up to about hip height and then bring it back down, good. So again, that bottom leg is still really nice and engaged here. Lifting up and lowering down and trying to keep those hips underneath you. So we don't want to be sticking our bum, bum back behind us. Keep everything tucked under and we're a nice long line from our head to our toes. Good. Great work guys. And when you're ready, we hold that leg up, little pulses here. Good, and holding there, and little circles. Good. Whew, and reverse. Beautiful, holding there. When you're ready, we bring the bottom leg up to tap the top leg, and then come down. So really engaging through the inner thigh of that bottom leg to lift the leg up. And the top leg is just holding there in space. Lifting up and lowering down. Again, control the lower down. Don't just drop it. Good. Lovely. When you're ready, you're just gonna hold that bottom leg up, little pulses up to the top leg. Good, it's a tiny movement here. Pulsing up and up for four, three, two, and one. Can we keep both legs together? We drop both legs down, squeeze and lift up. Good, both legs tap down to the mat and lift. Tap down and lift, good. Working through your oblique as well, so the side of your waist, which is an extra bonus. <laughs> Good, for three, two, and one. Hold up, can we do a little scissor? So the legs open a little bit and close, squish, squish together. <laughs> open and close. Good, squeeze them in together, is what I should say. <laughs> I guess you're squishing them in together as well a little bit. <laughs> Good, ah. good, and when you're ready, bigger scissor now. Close it in, close it in, lovely, for four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, can we 
create a nice little swim here with the legs. Legs are nice and long. This is a really controlled movement. Try and get the legs as wide as your mat. Good, this is killing me. <laughs> Good, and let's just make the swims a little bit smaller now. Control your hips here, control your body and try and go quite quickly. Nice, long, straight legs. Good, let's do five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Beautiful work, guys. Coming up and just taking all of that on the other side. So coming back down and around. I'm just gonna change my thing over. All right, setting yourself up, finding your comfortable position and bringing those feet to the bottom top corner or top bo bottom corner, top bottom top corner of your mat, you know what I mean? So <laughs> press your hips away and we're finding that turned out position here. So bringing those heels together and when you're ready, we are bringing our toe towards our knee, extend and flex the foot to bring it down. Toe towards the knee, extend, flex to bring it down. Good. Lovely. Good guys, one more. Lovely, now we just lift, flex to lower. We lift, flex that foot to lower. Good, two more. Last one. Good, lift that leg up. Little pulses in and in, good. Remember, control it. Really squeeze through those glutes. I'm definitely feeling this through my inner thigh. Good, for three, two and one. Beautiful work. Bringing that foot either in front or behind you, wherever you feel more comfortable. I'll bring that leg in front, holding onto my uh, ankle, flexing through that bottom foot. We lift and lower that bottom leg. We lift and lower. So remember, your inner thigh is coming up towards the roof or the sky. <laughs> nice strong leg. Keep nice and engaged through the core as well. So if you have your leg behind you, it'll look something like this. Good. When you're ready, holding it up, little pulses. Good, and we bend and stretch. Bend and stretch, that's it. Press something away with that heel, nice and strong. Bend and stretch. Good, and holding that leg out, little circles here. <sighs> Certainly is a burner, this one. Ah. Good, and reverse. All right, when you're ready, can we lift the leg up? Lift it a little bit higher. We hold here, hold, keep breathing. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Lying down, beautiful work, guys. Straightening out through those legs. Finding your balance here, press that top hip away. Your hips are nice and stacked. You lift that leg to hip height and lower down. That's it. Lift the leg up and lower down.
Good, control that lower. That's it. Great, and when you're ready, hold that leg up, little pulses. Good, and little circles. Remember that little golf ball, so tiny circle. That's it, reverse. Wonderful, hold that leg there when you're ready, really engage through that bottom leg. We lift the bottom leg up to touch and tap down. The bottom leg lifts up to the top leg and tap down. Good, keep your core nice and engaged as well to help stabilize you. Lifting up and tap down. Good, when you're ready, we hold that leg up, little pulses up. So that bottom leg is just pulsing up to the top leg. You've got this. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, both legs are up together. We tap them down to the mat, lift up. Tap down, lift up. Good, for three, two, one. Hold those legs up. When you're ready, little scissor. So a little open, little close. What's well, more a close, not a little close, but I guess it's a little close. Make sure those legs touch together as you close them. Really engage through those inner thighs, guys. Good, and can we do a big scissor now? So opening and close, squeeze everything in together. Make sure those hips aren't coming back behind you. Keep everything tucked under. Good, when you're ready, little pulses in and in. Good, you've got this. We're nearly there for five, four, three, Two and one, hold those legs still up. We've got our swims, remember, control it. Control it, control it. Good, and now can we go a little bit quicker? Small little swims. Those legs are nice and engaged. Good, go, 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 go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> awesome work, relaxing down guys. We just have one more little thing to do before we finish. I said, this, I know I said this is a sideline series, but let's have a little uh, exercise on our back, a little bonus round. When you're ready, bring those hands by your side, so bring them down on the mat. Press your lower back down into the mat. Extend those legs up nice and long here. You can have a slight bend in those knees. Just make sure that you're not um, tunneling underneath your back. So tilt that pelvis, press that lower back down. When you're ready, we're gonna bring those legs out nice and wide. Come out to the, um, come out so you feel it through those inner thighs and then you bring them back in. Squeeze those legs back in. You bring them out, engage those inner thighs to bring them back in. Making sure you're controlling the opening of the legs as well. Good. That's it. Keeping your core engaged. out and in. Now, if you'd like to go a little bit fancy with these, you can go criss cross, open. Criss cross the legs, open out, good. Criss cross, open, but control it guys. Don't just fling the legs. Criss 
across. Your abs are getting a little bit of a workout here too. Open, criss, cross, open, that's it. Criss, cross, open, let's do three more. Two, good, last one. Lovely, can we just do the criss, cross, criss, cross, keep going. Lovely, we have five, four, three, two, and one, open out those legs, get that nice little stretch. We just do a little lift, a little lower, I know. Final little burner here, we've got this. We can do it, little lift, little lower of the legs for five, four, three, two, and one beautiful work guys bring those knees into your chest have a little rock side to side <sighs> and taking a little stretch here if you'd like so flexing through your feet grabbing onto the soles of your feet or your ankles and draw your knees down towards your ribs coming into your happy baby here you can have a rock side to side if you'd like or just Stay still, drawing those feet down. Good, and you can extend one leg if you'd like. Extend the other leg. Getting that nice inner thigh stretch. Good, and if you'd like, you can bring the soles of the feet together, grab hold of the ankles and drop those knees down, really opening up through the inner thigh, coming into your cobbler's stretch. Good, and when you're ready, just dropping your feet down onto the mat and just windscreen, wipe your knees from side to side. Alrighty. That's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that inner thigh burn. That was certainly a burner of a class. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any requests for videos um, or have any feedback. Let me know and let me know what you thought of this class. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.